Hey kids, it's Tommy, and welcome to Tommy Log Tech for uh, today's edition. I want to talk about Verizon Cloud, their cloud-based uh, backup and storage service. But before I talk about their service, a lot of people ask me, Tommy, what is a cloud? What's all this about? So I had Emma, love Emma, draw me a little picture of a cloud. So what it is, is cloud is like your centralized server or your centralized storage place. And you can have your, you know, your iPhone, your Samsung, your Android. You can even have your iPad. Oh, can't have your BlackBerry or your 30650 or Pineapple, whatever those are. That doesn't apply. But you have, oh, don't forget, you can have your Mac or your, P, your Windows PC all storing and backing up stuff into this cloud. So the cloud is kind of ambiguous. <clears throat> it's made to look that way. You just kind of log in with your credentials and then all your stuff just boom, shows up there. So that's what the cloud is. And Verizon Cloud, is, it's, a, it's kind of three different flavors. It's an app for your mobile device. It's an app for your laptop, Mac, or PC. And it is a web-based device that you can access from anywhere in the world. All you need is internet access. And it works like this. So you got your, you got your little iPhone here. You've got your, your Android device. You've got your, your iPad. And what happens is you just, you log in with your credentials. And what happens is you can back up everything that you, all the pictures that you have ever that, that you have taken that are on this device. They go up to, remember our picture of the cloud. They go up to the cloud. So. If something happens to this, like it gets stolen, I've been through that before, if it gets stolen, run over, destroyed, you have it in the cloud and it can come back to you. So you're saying, Tommy, what gets backed up into the cloud? Well, you have your contacts, that's very important, your photos, you spend a lot of time taking selfies, uh, your video data, your music, documents. On certain devices, you can get your call log and text messages. On Android devices, that's super nice. So really, if this device gets wiped away and you have to get a brand new one, you just go, okay, I'm just log back in, <whistles> credentials, password, bam, mm -hmm. and then it's going to start downloading all that information from the cloud, essentially resetting up this device. So you don't have to rekey in your, your, uh, uh, your, your music or your documents or your photos. How many times have you had to rekey in your contacts? That's horrible. You can go online and you can look at this. You can either download the, the app on, it runs on Mac OS 10, Windows 7, 8, 8, 1, and you can see all the, uh, all your documents in there and you can say, hey, I want, I like that, I don't like that. And what's awesome is you don't even need those apps. You can just go online into, I think you just go into your My Verizon link in the show notes here and you can get access to all your stuff. How cool is that? What's neat about this whole process is that Verizon has a more everything plan, unlimited talk, unlimited text, and they give you 25 gigabytes of storage. I mean, I have a 32 gigabyte iPhone, so basically I can store everything, but it's not, I mean, I don't have 32 gigabytes of photos and stuff, so that's a humongous amount of space, and you can share it with your entire family. So as people take pictures, boom, it automatically syncs up to the cloud. A couple of caveats. If you're an iOS user, the backing up isn't as smooth as it needs to be. Right now, the best thing it can do for you is alert you that you have to back up, which isn't much of a strategy. But I'm told by the big brain trust at Verizon that that's going to be fixed and it's going to happen automatically. Okay. But on certainly on the Android device, you set it and you forget it. Once a day, up in the cloud, up in the cloud, up in the cloud. It's kind of cool because it doesn't use your, uh, your network bandwidth. It waits until you're on Wi-Fi. So it's not going to use your cellular data. That, I thought that was a nice setting. If you want it to, it will. But just be warned, if you have a lot of data, it's going to eat up your plan. That's probably not the smartest thing to do. 25 gigabytes, Verizon Cloud, totally 100% Tommy approved. This is rock solid, works as advertised, 
and is part of Tommy's backup strategy. And I think it should be part of your backup strategy too. This is Tommy from Tommy Log Tech. Thanks everybody for watching.